Are you out of your damn mind? We've been waiting forever for this movie, but the Marvel Cinematic Universe's upcoming Blade film is finally on its way. Marvel setting it up to be a fresh take on the character, finally bringing the iconic vampire hunter into the MCU. They first announced the new Blade movie back in July 2019 at San Diego Comic-Con. Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige dropped the news and confirmed that the lead role would go to Mahershala Ali, who nabbed multiple Oscars. Even after five years in the making, it's still early days for the film, so we have a ton to talk about it yet. We've got some key details about this upcoming MCU flick. We've gathered everything we know so far about the new Blade movie, from plot and casting news to the latest updates on filming and release dates. Also stick around till the end, because we'll also dive into why pulling off the MCU's Blade reboot is such a challenge. But first of all, who is making the MCU Blade movie? And when is the new Blade movie's release date? This part of the project has seen a lot of changes. Marvel initially brought on Bassam Tariq, known for his work on Mogul Mowgli, to direct the Blade film. However, Tariq eventually left the project, leading to Jan Demange's known for 71 Lovecraft Country, stepping in as the next director. Despite Demange's involvement, he also departed later on. Marvel has yet to announce a replacement director, although Tariq remains credited as an executive producer. On the writing side, Stacey Osei Kufour was initially hired to write the script but was later replaced by Bo DeMaio. The script has since undergone multiple revisions involving writers like Michael Starbury, best known for When They See Us, Nick Pizzolatto, who is the creator of True Detective, and Michael Green, writer of Logan. Currently, the script writing process is being led by Marvel veteran Eric Pearson, who wrote Black Widow and has also been involved in the Fantastic Four. As for the release date, Blade is set to hit theaters on November 7, 2025, after many delays. Given the project's history, another delay wouldn't be surprising. Moving on to the cast, Maharshala Ali was the first actor confirmed for the new Blade movie's cast. Since then, there have been some intriguing additions. Delroy Lindo, known for his roles in De Five Bloods and The Harder They Fall, has joined in a yet-to-be-disclosed role, though his involvement in another vampire project has raised questions about his Marvel commitment. Rumors suggest the boy star Anthony Starr might play Dracula, adding a fresh twist, but it's not confirmed. Aaron Pierre was initially slated to join but is no longer attached. A standout addition is Mia Goth, known for her roles in X and Pearl, though her character details remain under wraps. Her presence in the MCU promises an exciting new dynamic for Blade. Now, let's talk about the confirmed characters in the new Blade movie. Considering how early things are in the process, the only confirmed character for the movie is Mahershala Ali's Blade himself. But given that the new film will integrate Blade into the MCU, there's potential for other heroes and villains from this shared universe to make appearances. Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange and Elizabeth Olsen's Scarlet Witch are obvious candidates. Both have histories with Blade and Marvel's Midnight Suns Super Team, which united supernatural heroes from the comics. Could we see an MCU Midnight Suns reunion? It's possible, especially after Scarlet Witch's role in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. On the topic of hero cameos, wouldn't it be incredible if Deadpool showed up in the new Blade movie? Reynolds famously played Hannibal King in Blade Trinity, and the meta-humor potential with Wade meeting Blade would be off the charts. Of course, we'll have to wait for official announcements about additional characters. Blade's comic history is rich with allies, enemies, and complex relationships. Everyone from Deacon Frost, the vampire who sparked Blade's journey, to the infamous Dracula, Blade's long-standing nemesis, could make an appearance. It's a waiting game, but the possibilities are wide open. Now the big question is, is the new Blade movie rated R or PG-13? Kevin Feige sparked some discussion in February 2021 during Marvel Studios' panel at the Television Critics Association when he mentioned their approach to ratings, particularly outside of Deadpool 3. In simpler terms, he said that Marvel makes movies for both kids and adults. He acknowledges that Deadpool is an exception because it's already known for its mature content and they won't change that. Other than Deadpool, 
they haven't found a story, storyline, or character journey that needs an R rating or adult tone. They haven't felt limited by sticking to PG-13 ratings so far. If they ever feel the need for more mature content, they could consider it now that there are other platforms available. But up to now, they've been satisfied telling their stories with the ratings they have. Does this mean the new Blade won't be R-rated? Not necessarily. The original Wesley Snipes Blade trilogy was R-rated, and many fans expect the reboot to maintain that level of intensity and violence. However, even if the new movie opts for a PG-13 rating, it can still be a compelling film, just with a different approach to its content. For now, we'll have to wait for official details on the movie's rating. As for the plot of the new Blade movie, as we've mentioned, very few details are known about the new Blade movie, including its plot. Hopefully, as we approach filming, we'll get a synopsis or more story details. In the meantime, we do know Blade's comic book origin, which could serve as a foundation for the film. Blade's origin involves his mother being attacked by a vampire while pregnant. She died during labor, giving birth to Eric Brooks, a unique half-human, half-vampire baby who later takes on the name Blade. As he grows, Blade uses his daywalker abilities to hunt down vampires. Given that it's been over two decades since the first Blade movie, the new film might provide a recap of this origin to bring new fans up to speed. Alternatively, the MCU could skip the origins and dive straight into the story. Another approach could involve introducing Blade in a previous MCU film and then exploring his character further in his own solo movie, much like they did with Tom Holland's Spider-Man. Regarding staying true to the comics, former director Bassam Tariq suggested flexibility in an interview with Gizmodo, noting, What's so great is it's not as boxed in as I think people imagine it to be, which I thought it was. But it's quite exciting, and I think the reality is there is no Blade canon. Tariq emphasized a character-first approach, suggesting a willingness to innovate while honoring the essence of Blade. Now let's discuss why pulling off the MCU's Blade reboot is such a challenge. On the surface, creating a story about the vampire-slaying character should be straightforward, especially considering the previous Blade trilogy with Wesley Snipes, which had relatively simple plots. However, the main challenges likely lie in integrating Blade into the broader MCU. Each new character introduced in the MCU has significant implications for the larger world, and incorporating vampires, who have been hidden until now, could pose a narrative challenge. The MCU has already combined aliens, mythical beings, secret organizations, and mutants, but vampires would bring a new layer of complexity. The secrecy surrounding vampires may strain credibility, especially given the openness about other superpowered aspects in the MCU. This integration issue could be a major hurdle the Blade script is struggling to address. Another difficulty is crafting a compelling adversary for Blade. While vampires are a natural choice, creating a villain who stands out and adds depth to the story is crucial. Speculation suggests Mia Goth's Lilith might be the antagonist, but details remain uncertain. Choosing the right villain, whether it's Deacon Frost from the original Blade or even Dracula himself, has likely contributed to the script's challenge. Well, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest updates. Share your thoughts with us on this in the comments section. Until next time, stay tuned and stay entertained.